Okay, I thought I would start this morning um, before I dig into some music. I'm doing a little tour of my home studio. We're going upstairs to the second floor, um, past all these. I built these shelves a number of years ago um, into the walls to house all of our DVDs. At the top of the stairs, we've got a closet, um, which is where I keep all my clothes because my wife has all hers in all the closets in our room. Uh, spare bedroom off to the side. And then right here, we've got the studio door. So we just kind of enter in through here. <clears throat> and looks rather cluttered everything but it's nice and homey um, so I have a whole bunch of things in the studio to kind of give me inspiration or whatever uh, old pictures of the family um, other pictures on the wall over here I did this little shelf years ago for my oldest son um, just so he could set some stuff and put it in the wall, but in addition to a little shelf, grab this, pull it out. You've got a little secret space down there, which um, my oldest son was upset when I told my youngest son about it because nobody else was supposed to know. So, but anyway, um, plenty of comfy chairs. Here's a nice one we got at a garage sale. I've got a, a massage chair up here, a full bed. Um, obviously, if I, my thought is if I ever catch COVID again, I'm more than set to be able to quarantine and isolate from the family so they don't catch anything. Um, so... I'll kind of step around, um, I think, I have some books on canning, um, but real quick, yes, I know I've got a scythe in my, uh, or sickle in my, uh, studio, don't worry, I'm not running through the streets using that, um, oh, I can edit a lot of this out. But, here's my comic book collection, Foot Locker full. So, still thinking about, it, about at some point selling those. Um, I just don't read them like I used to. So I kind of get things set back up. Um, Rogu on the bed. Um, over. Okay. So this, and this was actually commented, um, a, a picture just like this, shown in a comment on Twitter. Um, that is a picture that I had hanging in my, um, bedroom as a kid at home. And so I think I mentioned that to, uh, Stone. So Stone, there's the picture that you probably don't remember me mentioning um, or saying anything about, but that I've still got um, uh, some pop figures that my kids got me. Um, of course, Mater, I got myself. Um, Jean-Luc, who still works. My youngest son got me that. The crew of the uh, the bridge crew of the Enterprise, the original Star Trek. Of course, we've got the Harry Potter figures. And then in the corner, we've got Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, so I've got a uh, Scooby-Doo castle set up over here, all Lego. Um... So, need lots of fun things to keep myself busy up here um, for inspiration, whatnot. Oh, right down here is my old Tascam Digital 8-track recorder. Um, 
haven't used that in years, but I've still got still got music on that um, little tidbits that I should pull off some time to use. Of course, what's inspiration without some Edgar Allan Poe? Um, swing back around my acoustic corner. Um, little shelf I put up on the wall uh, to hold all my stuff all my uh, acoustic instruments over in the other corner we've got my electric um, my recording desk um, this is the only room in the house that has carpeting um, and then of course it also helps even though it it doesn't with headspace but having these kind of slanted ceilings um, because it the way it bounces the sound down into the carpet so it keeps it pretty dead up here or at least it doesn't give me too much reverb um, room reverb it seems to be pretty much just what I need um, so anyway some old bookshelves that belong to my wife's grandparents um, along with, I think, that pillow over there in the, in the top corner. The hat belonged to my father-in-law. Um, an old chair from my parents. This was another garage sale find. Um, it's not the most comfortable um, to sit in, but it keeps me focused. Um, my PV amp over there. I've got some practice amps back behind that chair, but I'm not going to dig those out. Um, my trombone, um, and there's an old, um, student size electric guitar that I would like to restring and tune up at some point for slide playing, which means I need to learn how to play slide. Um, so various books up here, got a bunch of old books that belong to my grandfather on my dad's side um, home repair books and then down at the bottom if anybody's ever looked at uh, childcraft books the very colorful set was a um, was left at my parents house when they bought it and as a kid I loved it and I was given an opportunity by my parents when they were clearing things out to take that and I jumped on it um, just because I love those books so much. Spent so much time reading them. Um, I've got my MIDI controller and keyboard, um, my headphones, uh, music in process or progress. Um, I've got my current project um, up on my computer. Um, I've got my Hawaiian tiki, um, my studio speakers, my wife. That's an older picture of my wife. Um, no, she's not so old that it was originally taken in black and white, and that's just how it was done. Um, I've got my goblet, my triangle, and my cowbell and drumsticks that I use for live percussion. Um, more Lego, obviously. Uh, Star Wars related. I've still got a lot more Lego in storage. I've got my pedals kind of stuffed up in here. Um, so the desk itself belonged to my great grandmother and that was one of the few things from my parents house I got years ago but that if there was one thing I wanted it was that library table. Um, so loved it as a kid. Um, so I think I mentioned a chair from my parents' house over there. Um, so lots of seating up here, even though usually it's just me, but it gives me a chance to set different places, get different vantage points, um, think as I'm working on projects. I've got some various guitar picks up on the wall this set my son-in-law got me from the hard rock cafe 
when he stopped in. I'm trying to remember where he was. Um, oh, where was he? Patea. Um, over in Asia um, with the Navy. He stopped in, grabbed me some guitar picks, and have to hang them on the wall. Not going to use them and, and mess them up or anything, but really want to keep them. Um, so, I don't know. Anyway, this is just kind of a, trying to get as broad as I can, kind of a sweep of the space I work in every morning. So, like I said, it's got a lot of things up here for inspiration for me, um, if I need any. Um, and this is just where I spend every morning when I... Or just about every morning before work, when I get up, before going in. So, I guess, thank you for coming on this short little tour with me. I'm sure afterwards there will be something that I'll... Oh, actually, we've got a visitor this morning. Forgot to display that. And he's not going to hang out with us for too much. But... <sighs> right there. Live trap the little guy. Um, so I'll be letting him loose outside um, a little bit later. So I've been having, having a number of those run through my studio. And I seems like every other day or so I end up catching one. So um, again, thank you for stopping by. And nothing special, but this studio space really works for me. Uh, really comfy. Uh, thank you.